and once again we're in the titillating midst of speculation season. And it would appear that Universal just confirmed the single house the Halloween Horror Nights fan community has been clamoring for for decades. Is 2022 about to be the most horrifying Horror Nights event ever? Oof, it sure looks like it. Yes, it's only April, but Horror Night sleuths are already uncovering some pretty credible evidence for featured houses in 2022. Universal Studios is still cleaning up the remains of its 30th anniversary event, and it's leaving the company with a lot to prove. As we all know, the latest and most recent Horror Nights events have been the subject of criticism among diehards. Cheap, frightless scares and a special lack of dedication to authenticity have buried Universal's Halloween event under consistent claims of pandering to a gentle and delicate audience. The consensus for the upcoming 2022 event is evenly mixed, with a majority wondering if it's even worth going if Universal simply refuses to deliver even an ounce of the scares it boastfully broadcasts. Under the weight of being too sanitized and exhaustingly cute, Halloween Horror Nights has something to prove, and judging by what we're seeing, they are aiming to stretch the boundaries of true terror this year. Nothing is official until Universal confirms it, but we can get a good sense of where they are heading by reading the clever tweets from the official Halloween Horror Nights Twitter account. You'll typically find them teasing new houses or events, always cryptic and often revelatory. And this morning's not-so-subtle tweet was no different. Take it in. Is it finally happening? Now let me clarify this. The curious spelling of not with a K and T has unsurprisingly led to an eruption of Twitter speculation. It appears that Universal is finally catering to the fandom's hunger by delivering an official Haunted House walkthrough in honor of easily the most nerve-wracking, spine-tingling, hair-raising film in its entire catalog the ghost and Mr. Chicken. This eerie and formidable haunted house production has long been lauded as one of the more disturbing movies of all time. It has gained an almost cult following by those who can actually make it through its many alarming frames. Labeled as a rite of passage and a litmus test for horror enthusiasts, it's often cited as the inspiration for other spooky staples of the lore, like House on a Haunted Hill, The Shining, and Five All Goes West. As the fundamental basis of the haunted house genre, Universal is ready to fire on all cylinders this year by bringing this untouchable gauntlet of cinematic fright off of the screen and into terrifying reality for its monumental 31st Horror Nights event. The Ghost and Mr. Chicken, for those who may still be in the dark, is a twisted combination of many genres. Equal parts drama, suspense, and tragedy, with discreet elements of macabre humor peppered throughout. It is an all-out assault on everything that provides us with comfort and peace of mind. It stars Sir Donald Knotts, a distinguished character actor who first gained recognition via the television for his take as the trusted deputy on a small-town police procedural. But his breakout role was found here. It was his portrayal of the stoic and aspiring journalist Luther Heggs in The Ghost and Mr. Chicken. I have been called brave. What is brave? <clears throat> Let me clarify this. Of course, we all know that it is short for bravery. Our setting Rachel, Kansas, a seemingly quiet residential neighborhood where everybody has a secret. Casting a sinister shadow over the community is a chilling mystery surrounding a murder-suicide that occurred many years ago in the now vacant Simmons Manor on the edge of town. There are frequent reports of paranormal activity within the house, but none are bold enough to step inside and actually confirm it. It's a murder house. I wouldn't go near there for $100. I wouldn't go near there for $200. $300. Four. Five, six. After plans are made to destroy the house and the cold case evidence certainly held within, Knotts' Luther Heggs, without fear of ghosts and the like, volunteers to spend the night in the supposedly haunted estate, on the anniversary of the killings no less, to find out once and for all if it truly is a murder house. They say the ghost of old man Simmons still climbs the tower and plays the organ at midnight. What follows is a night of unexplainable phenomena, paranormal nightmare fuel that may force Luther to question everything he believes. Are these things really happening? Does the house have a message for him? Will Luther be able to find out what really took place that night? Will he himself even be able to make it out? 
It is a slow burn with an incredible payoff. No spoilers here, but I highly recommend it to anyone who is brave enough to endure it. As for myself, I had to take breaks. It is not for the faint of heart. I challenge anyone to remain calm during its duration. Calm? Calm? Do murder and calm go together? Calm and murder? 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 Murder! The strength of the film lies within Knotts' nuanced and reserved interpretation. For what could have easily become an over-the-top and zany performance, Donald Knotts stays keyed in and subdued, a master of his craft. The same can be said for the quality of its accomplished supporting cast, all of whom push the boundaries of dramatic excellence. This gentleman is just about finished. I'm almost up to my jello. Oh. Oh, well. <laughs> Coupled with careful direction and an eerily iconic score, the ghost in Mr. Chicken, despite its age, has solidified itself as not only a horror staple, but a Universal Studios triumph. It is for this reason that a ghost in Mr. Chicken experience has long been anticipated by Horror Nights enthusiasts. With those factors in play, it's no wonder Universal is wanting to commemorate this year by introducing what will undoubtedly have to be its scariest house to date. Along with the intriguing tweet we received this morning, we can also see evidence of what looks to be the Simmons Mansion in the actual park. It feels like the only thing we're waiting on is Universal's official confirmation, which I wouldn't be surprised if we get by the end of the day. He's dead! He's been murdered! Oh, don't panic! Don't panic! Oh, Luther, Luther, it was terrible! He was walking along the street when bang! Oh, right on the head! With the bat! Oh, did you see who did it? No, it was just bang! Right on the head! With that, I've got a picture of it. A ghost in Mr. Chicken House will have a lot to live up to. Guests will be craving to experience the same adrenaline-inducing fright that Donald Knotts did. It will have to contain all the elements of its filmic inspiration. Ghostly organs, shears unexplainably stabbed into a bleeding painting, secret passageways to creaky basements and unpredictable elevator... Guys, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. I mean, I usually don't blink at the price of admission for these kinds of things, but if they pull this off, they could charge you to chicken out early, and I might even be willing to pay it. According to our sources, the Ghost in Mr. Chicken House is likely to appear as the flagship experience for the Halloween events on both Universal Coasts this year, with potentially a permanent year-round installation being developed for Universal Singapore. Again, nothing is official until Universal confirms it, but we're fairly confident it's just a matter of time. We were sort of listening to the organ, you know. The midnight bells were ringing. I turned to Clara and I said, Clara, the organ music sounds strange tonight. Well, what did Clara say? She said, yes, it does. You know, Clara. It's pleasing to see Universal notably shifting priority from Epic Universe to delivering us a quality and terrifying experience for Halloween Horror Nights 2022 with The Ghost and Mr. Chicken. We'll have to wait to find out, of course, but odds look pretty good. The ultimate question for now seems to be, will we be brave enough to step inside? I'm not going to fool myself. I might be too chicken. Until next time. We'll see you in the happy place. Bye.